Also developing news on the crisis in Hoosick Falls tonight. A congressional oversight committee is launching a federal investigation into the PFOA crisis. The committee has sent letters to both Governor Andrew Cuomo and the Environmental Protection Agency asking for any and all information related to the water issues there. Capitol reporter Kimberly Howard is live for us in Hoosick Falls. Kimberly, this is a big step for a community that really can't seem to catch a break. Yeah, that's right. And after dealing with water contamination issues, this community is actually now under water restrictions because of an electrical problem at the plant. Now, the mayor tells me tonight that that should be fixed by tomorrow. In the meantime, people who live here tell me that even that inconvenience is not going to taint their spirits. Michelle Baker has been helping lead the charge against the water crisis that's been plaguing her community for months. Now she's celebrating two victories that came almost simultaneously. The assembly announcing water quality hearings for September and these two letters from a federal oversight committee. They asked Governor Cuomo and the Environmental Protection Agency for all documents and communications relating to Hoosick Falls and that dangerous chemical that's been tainting their water, PFOA. I mean, this is another huge win for Hoosick Falls. I mean, absolutely. We are finally going to get the answers that we deserve. The letters say there's evidence that state and county officials knew about the contamination as early as August of 2014 when they were contacted by the village. But people were not told to stop drinking the water until December of 2015. That time lapse, that could have meant the difference between a serious disease, maybe even life and death for some folks. The federal investigation comes after Congressman Chris Gibson called on the House of Representatives to hold federal hearings. Gibson told us over the phone from Washington he's still pushing for that. They could very well set the stage uh, through this deposition process. It could very well set the stage for hearings. The letter set a July 20th deadline for the documents. The hearings would give the Assembly and the House subpoena power. They have a couple of months to get their house in order, and they better come prepared to answer these questions because I certainly have them, uh, as do the people of Hoosick Falls. If they begin to haul people down to Washington uh, under subpoena, I think, and you're under oath, I think that they're going to uh, expose a lot of what went on. Now, we did receive a statement from the governor's office responding to all this. It reads, in part, states across the country have struggled to confront evolving information about PFOA and other emerging contaminants, particularly in the face of shifting guidelines and the absence of regulation from the federal government. We will gladly share our experience in New York to clarify the facts and the steps we have taken to address these challenges. Now, among the concerns, Governor Cuomo's 90-day email deletion policy, which was in place during part of the time in question, Coming up at 6 o'clock, what both federal and state officials have to say about that. For now, though, we're live in Hoosick Falls. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.